The wonderful thing about clay as a material is that it's been used by humans for thousands of years. It surrounds us in our everyday lives, from the plates we eat off, the mugs we drink from, and the houses we live in. What this exhibition proves is that that one material can act as a wonderful vehicle for expression for so many makers. It can be manipulated and used in so many different ways, but its human qualities are what really shine through. The most striking thing about Takuro Kuwata's work is the monolithic scale. To see ceramics in this kind of size is quite awe-inspiring. All of these pieces still need to be fired and all of that would require quite literally a vast kiln. But what's so lovely about it is he hasn't lost any of the material qualities of the clay. You can still pick up on fingerprints despite the enormity of this piece. And the glazes, this gloop glaze, as that's been in the kiln, it started to melt and quite literally run and fall off the pot. But that has been stopped at just the right moment that it's literally frozen in time. It's real bravery, you know, it's, it's alchemy in action. I absolutely love it. In Shapur Puyan's work, My Place is the Placeless, you just get a sense of the sheer volume in terms of variety of approaches and materials. As you look around the pieces, you can kind of pick out architectural features, but it feels like you're journeying right the way around the world in terms of where those decorative influences come from. He's got clay bodies that vary massively from very, very beautiful iron-rich dark red tones through to manganese clay bodies, which are very black. Glazes which are much drier, glazes which are much more glossy. But all of these different elements used in combination create this incredibly varied approach with an exquisite level of detail. In Liu Jinhua's work, Regular Fragile, there is an immense amount of domestic objects suspended on the walls. All of these have been created using a slip casting process with a clay body called porcelain. Now, casting in porcelain is a laborious process. Initially, the mold has to be made from the original object. So every single one of these pieces would have required a separate mold made in multiple pieces. It's so difficult to get the level of accuracy that's been obtained here. And without that level of accuracy, without that kind of really recognisable object, it would lose so much of its impact. My particular favourite is the teddy bear, because the lovely thing about the casting process is when that mould is made, it's an exact replica of not only the form, but the material that that original object was made from. So you sort of get a sense that it still feels voluminous and squishy like a teddy bear. Clara Kristalova has made this incredible, magical, mysterious sort of fairy tale land. The lovely thing about all of the work here is that it's hand built and you really get a sense of the material qualities of the clay and the process of making. You can see where the clay has been pushed and manipulated by the hand when it's plastic and malleable. It just is a real nod to the kind of creative process of the maker. It's direct insight into how these pieces have been fashioned. All of the pieces have a really playful quality to them. The beautiful display and the interaction between the tones and the colours of the clay and the making processes make them somehow feel like they've kind of grown up out of the earth and Clara's imagination. And that's what's so special. All of these different pieces in this exhibition are a product of the people that have made them. It's people's minds, their hands and that one material, clay.